Today we will discuss another important topic for MSCPCH clinical examination that is examination of pipe. Nowadays MSCPCH clinical changing its pattern so you have to prepare very well for any uncommon topic. Let's start. First station in MSCPCH contain 8 marks and it is 8, 8 minutes long. 6 minutes will be allotted for the examination and 2 minutes will be allotted for the discussion. And you will get a bell at 6 minutes time. So be well prepared for this. Let's discuss the introduction and preparation. First you have to wash your hand. Then you have to introduce yourself to the patient as well as to the parents. Then you have to explain the procedure what you are going to do in age appropriate manner to the patient as well as to the parents. Then if required then you have to do the exposure but here nothing much is required but you have to gain the consent as well as ensure the cooperation. Then you have to do ensure the good lighting as well as seat at the child's level. Then you have to make some rapport with the patient. You can ask what is your favorite color, who is your favorite sports star. Start with the inspection. Always start with 4D and 1S. Disease, distress, dysmorphism, any, what is the dimension as well as the surrounding. Disease means something that you are seeing that is quite appropriate or something very much evident that you have to describe. Sometimes like the one lie is lost, another lie is there. So something is really very evident that you have to describe first. Then you have to look for any distress, whether the child is in any distress or discomfort or not. At least you should ask. Then you have to check for obvious dysmorphism or any upslanting of eyes or any grouping of eyes so that you have to look for. Then you have to take the height weight in and you have to plot in age appropriate growth chart, age and sex appropriate growth chart and look at the surroundings. Is there any hearing aid or any visual aid is there or not? You have to describe, you have to mention each and everything. You have to look at the child face. What do you first observe? Is there any facial asymmetry there or not? Then look at the eyelid. Is there any ptosis there or the eyelid is protruding? That is proptosis is there or not? Then what is the position of the eyeball? Is there any strabismus or any squint? Or is the, is the child eyeball is moving like in nystagmus? And observe if the child can fix this or follows. So let's start with the visual acuity. This is the first test you have to do. It is according to the age. Less than six months of age, we need to check whether the child can fix and follow. And you have to check the light response. Between six to 12 months of age, you have to check whether the child can fix and follow. The, each eye you have to test and you can try occlusion test. Between two to five years of age, you can try some picture chart like K or Allen's chart. More than five years, we have to use the Snellen or Logmar chart. You should say, I would use age appropriate vision test. The next thing you are going to check that is a visual field. The method is called confrontation method. You have to position yourself to a hand hold distance and you can use toys or fingers adjust the technique according to the child's age and you should say i would assess the visual fields using confrontation appropriate for child's development level let's discuss the pupillary assessment first you have to look for size shape and the symmetry of the pupil then you have to do direct and consensual response then you have to look for rapid apparent pupillary defect there is or not by doing swinging flashlight test. The other name of this RAPD is Markelsen pupil. Then you have to do accommodation reflex 
if the child is cooperative. Next assessment is the extraocular muscle movement. Assess the cranial nerve third, fourth, and sixth together. Follow a light or toy in an H pattern. Then you have to look for the full movement any nystagmus is there or not or any diplomia is there or not. If the child is older then you can ask for it. Next we have to do fundoscopy and check for red reflex. For this reason you have to have the dark room. Use ophthalmoscope, look for the red reflex then look at the disc and the vessels. If the view is poor, you should refer for a formal assessment. You can consider some additional test if indicated, like corneal light reflex. Other name of it is Hirschberg test. Then you can do cover uncovered test to detect latent squint. The third one is Bruckner test to compare the red reflex in both eyes. Common clay case scenarios given in the examinations are development delay, like in syndromic features present there or not, example cataract and Down syndrome, cranial nerve palsy may present like squint or ptosis, leukochoria in retinoblastoma or cataract, congenital cataract is another important topic, nystagmus may be present due to visual impairment or albinism and papilledema in diabetes child with headache. The top tip for MRCBCH exam, narrate the finding aloud. Comment if exam is normal, abnormal or unaccessible. Adapt the child's cooperation level. Be systematic, stay calm and show empathy. I hope you are enjoying my video so please like share and subscribe your support matters a lot let me know which other uncommon topic you want to discuss you can comment below or you can contact in my whatsapp number let's see what we can do together see you in next video thank you